Hey guys, I'm going to try to make a quick video as fast as I can. Uh, please try to sit through the video. Um, I promise it won't be that painful. Um, so I'm going to do this review of my PS4. Uh, I went to go play and something just kind of triggered in me that I kind of wanted to tell the world about, I guess. Hopefully the world will see this. As much people as possible. I need your help though. You know, give me a like, comment. Like. Thumb. Yes. Okay. So I was going to plug my Ethernet cable in there. This is a Cat5 cable. Uh, in case you guys don't know, don't ever run anything off a of wireless. I don't even know if this thing is capable of doing that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, wireless connections don't work very well. Um, they're slow. You want to use wired. You also want to have a good Internet um, connection. You also want to have a good Internet company, and you want to have Cat5 cable. It's always the best thing to do. And not to mention that it only really has like two wires. I mean, this thing plugs into the back there. An HDMI cable. Yes, this is a box. <laughs> I'm working on building something to uh, get this looking all nice and neat. But there's really only one cable. That goes into this, and this goes into that. So, and a third cable isn't too terrible, okay? But... I went to go plug the Ethernet cable into the... Er, yes, Ethernet. Yeah, okay, right wording. Mind... Mind... Fart. So, I went to go plug it in, and apparently my hand touched this, okay? <clears throat> I fingered it a little bit. I, uh, I pleased the woman, and she turned on. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Well, in real life, that's fine. Um... <clears throat> When you're doing that to a system, it's not the best. I <laughs> both of these, both the disc uh, disc tray and the um, <clears throat> and the power um, are sensor activated. You know, your your finger goes near it and it uh, it turns on like a, a woman's. Yeah, okay, we get it. Um, to release the game, you just have to you have to wave it over it again. But to put it in, you just yeah, it just goes in. It has like some sort of uh, optical reader that senses a game is in there. But uh, all right, moving on to the controller. The controller is a quite masterpiece. <clears throat> it is um, it is rechargeable. It doesn't have any batteries. Um, it plugs into the machine. But what you'll see here, so I, I am doing a little trick. Follow the cable, follow the cable, follow the cable. <laughs> okay, so this is a, like a USB port here. Um, you have two USB drives in there. And uh, most phones um, have like a USB port in there that you can attach it or detach it and then plug that into there. So. That's what you can get if you're sitting in a chair, because this this cable is only about three feet long. <clears throat> so, if you're unless you're like right next to the the TV, you're probably not going to be able to. Um, what's the word? Mind farts. Uh, okay, whatever. I can't think of it. Pretty much wherever you're sitting, you'll be able to plug this into the wall and play. <clears throat> you can charge and you can unplug it and do whatever the heck you want with it, but the charge doesn't last very long. It might be five hours before it goes. So that's why having a second controller might not be too bad, you know. Um, you can have one charging while you're playing with the other and swap it out, but uh, to st for the startup, you might want to do this method or whatever you want to do, assuming you have a phone. Moving on, this is the um, headset. Um, these work with phones, but it's it's a very large whatever. It's a very large little earpiece that doesn't fit in your ear very well unless you are Andre the Giant, and I'm sure this would fit just right, but no, this doesn't fit very well. Only half of it goes in. If you shake your head right, it'll fall right out. So that's that. Uh so it it does sound uh pretty well. It's it's not um the sound quality isn't bad. Uh, I can hear what my friends are saying. 
other than that, it's pretty much junk. Um, I don't know what the Xbox is giving out. Um, I remember when the 360 was uh, was releasing, they had this um, they had this mic, which back when the 360 first came out, that frickin' mic was sixty bucks. The controller was sixty bucks. It was just a pain. I think they all but eliminated all that garbage. And uh, anyways. Um, it was it was an actual headset that wrapped around your head, and it was a lot higher quality than this. I don't think it would uh, work in your phone, though. Did it? No, no, it didn't. I think they were slightly too small or slightly too big, one or the other. But this is this is not the best quality. I don't like it very much. But um, apparently, the PS4 has a Bluetooth, and you can get this thing called a Gold controller, which my buddy told me about. That uses Bluetooth for everything, which is sounds awesome. Too bad it wasn't like ten karat gold. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Anyways, that would cost more than the PlayStation, but it's besides the fact. So did I talk about the light here? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I don't think I've ever talked about the controller at all. Okay, um this was a main factor in me getting the PlayStation 4, because, um, before I got the 360, I had the PlayStation 2. Before the PlayStation 2, I had the PlayStation 1. Um, then I got the Xbox One. Ha ha ha. Yeah, thanks a lot, Microsoft, for screwing with the name. Uh, I had the Xbox One, or the original, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the transition from PlayStation 2 controller to Xbox original controller was not too much of a deal because, well, it was a better controller. And then I went to the 360, which was a good controller, but I couldn't step back and go to the um, the PlayStation 3's controller. I can use this controller right after using the 360. I went to this immediately. It felt normal. It was fine. You know, I... Still to this day, I can't use the older controllers. It's just too ridiculous. They elongated, I guess the arms, whatever you want to call it. They added this button. It's it's not like a screen, like the Wii U. It's a button. I don't, I'm indifferent about the button. I guess it's fine, but I wouldn't mind if it was gone either. Um, the triggers are good. Really good. This light has absolutely no purpose. There's no purpose to it at all. I guess they wanted to put this speaker in here for sound effects it's not necessary not at all this light they could do without that light and they can do without that speaker I mean it's cool again I'm indifferent about it I'm sure it uses energy too um, if I want to hear sound effects I'd like to hear it from my TV or mic or whatever you're using I don't want to hear it from the controller especially when you're you know get later into the the PS4 and the stages of gaming and you have all these professional headsets that people use mostly for Call of Duty <laughs> but you use all that you don't really need to hear the sound effects on a controller but uh, that's about it guys so